Hello and welcome to my channel Scotland Mushroom Foraging and Fishing I'm doing some fishing today I'm here at the lighthouse at Upper Dower in Fife over there you can see Edinburgh and uh, yeah we're gonna fish for some wrasse today or this is the target day, Raf. Uh, down there by the lighthouse, down in the rocks, rough ground. So let's see how we get on. It's a uh, moment, a beautiful day. Uh, it's uh, like a breeze of southwesterly, but they're forecasting overcast. So it's about two hours to high tide. So I'm going to fish to two hours and two or three hours down and then see what happens maybe the mackerel comes in as well maybe uh, do some spinning as well so or do some float fishing so let's see how we get on okay stay tuned and we'll be back Yeah, and we're fishing. I got the first rod out. Uh, twelve, just a twelve foot beach caster. Uh, yeah, just chucked it down there. Just there, down there for the rock, rock bottom bit. I'll show you, show you here later. Uh, using rag as a bait. Uh, yeah, I'm using. Um, using 40 pound braid, 50 pound shock leader, and I'll show you the rig later. Also, also at bait, we have got some lug worm, some peeler crabs, and yeah, let's see how we get on. So, yeah, beautiful morning. As I said, Edinburgh over there, first and fourth going up. Over there, silver sand. Over there, keep on. You can see the clouds come in the distance. It's supposed to be overcast today. So at the moment, it's nice and sunny. You know, the wind is coming up a little bit. So we might try for some macro later. Yeah, it's supposed to. Sorry about the wind noise, but there's not much I can do. Yeah, here's the rig. And it's just... This is 50 pounds. Some floating beads, as I said. Uh, I got that rig from the fish locker uh, from his workshop. So shout out to the fish locker. Uh, and I just do it here like a thing 16 pounds just with the forearms lead. So if it breaks away then uh, I still got the rig back. I hope and the fish. <laughs> I just had a bite and I forgot to switch the camera on. I don't think it was a very big one. So, okay we keep you posted. Well, I've set a second of rod up for spinning. There's little sabikis and the lure in the back. So I haven't seen any uh, seals around. So it should be alright. Let's see how we get on. Okay, let's do the first cast together. Uh, I haven't had anything else on the other rod yet, apart from the one bite. Now let's see.
I'll uh, keep you posted when I catch something or update you. Just an update, uh, no more bites. Uh, I gave up on the spinning at the moment because it's quite rough and it's just drifting over there. So I set up a second rod, similar setup with a one hook with a ragworm, and then later on, when I bring the other one in, I change it to peeler crab. So, yeah, stay tuned and I'll give you an update as it happens. Uh, you're still spinning away over there. Fisherman turned up. And he hasn't got much luck at the moment. So I still had something small nibbling on the right hand rod. It's quite a big bait on there, so nothing no big bite. Just a tap 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 tap. So yeah, sorry about the wind, but not much we can do.
Yeah, I just changed the bait. I just put a, pushed up the, the rag worm and I just add a peeler crab onto it. So let's see how we get on with this. The uh, wind is a bit howling at the moment, so sorry about that, but can't do nothing about it. So yeah, I'll check this out and stay tuned. Yeah, the other fisherman is gone. Yeah, I didn't have much luck with Marco over there. He just went over there near the pier. So yeah, keep fishing. Body wrath. What a beautiful day, though. Oh yes. Who doesn't want to be out in a day like this fishing? Yeah, nice rocky spot. Just the last missing. So hopefully, well, I keep posted. What? Yeah, I'm going to do a plate check on the left hand rod. Nibbled on it. Okay, uh, some more bait in it. Then we're gonna chuck it back out. Yeah, we got our first fish. Nice size coley. Yeah, beautiful. It was a good bite. By the time I switched the, my head, uh, camera on the uh, yeah, I had to strike into it because it's rough ground. So, yeah. Yeah. And just I landed it, he came off the hook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a few bites, but I think that's just small fish. My head cam battery is dead. I forgot to bring the spare one. I missed two two bites. Well, I think that's a small fish, small wrasse or something, or small coalies. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Yeah, I just had a baby conga on there and it twisted up all the line. So, yeah, it just came off down there by the rocks. Never mind, just keep fishing. Well, finally we got our target species. A little little rest. Looks like a mullen rest. Yeah, finally. Now we keep fishing. Hopefully the big rod brings a big fish. Well, much better session today. Another fish. Nice little codling. Wow. Nice. Wow. All right, let's get back to fishing. Yeah, let's just call on old frozen ragworm. Okay, let's go. Yeah, fishing slowed right down now. Loads of bites. Uh, Coley, codling, grass. Baby conga. No, oh, good, it's good session. So uh, I slowed right down. I'm in a run out of rag. So as soon as I put some lug on there, maybe it's dead. I don't know. Let me find out. I might stay another hour and then pack up. Uh, yeah, keep you posted. Yeah, nothing else happening. So I'll give it another 15 20 minutes and uh, what I'm going to pack up. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. If I catch anything else, I'll put it at the end of the video. Yeah, good, nice, great day out. So, 
Yeah, weather was well, a bit windy, but yeah, most of the time we had sunshine. And yeah, we caught a few fish. So, yeah, big shout out to the fish locker, to John. Yeah, the rig works. Got a few fish on it. So, the fish are, are not deterred by the color. And also, I got some orange floating beads on it. So, the fish are not the, weren't deterred by that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.